evaluating, if you're trying to do this quotient with the limits, and you get, I don't know, say 1 over 0, you cannot use this rule in that case. It only works if when you plug in that number, you get 0 over 0 or infinity or infinity. What Lobital's rule says, well, we can take the derivative of the top, and we can take the derivative of the bottom, and then try and plug in the limit again. Okay? So it's not the quotient rule. We are not doing the quotient rule here because we're not trying to find the derivative. We are trying to find the limit at this point. But when we plug in the point, we get 0 over 0, or we get infinity over infinity, then our next step is to take the derivative of the top, exclusive, just itself, and then take the derivative of the bottom, and then try and plug in that value that we're trying to find the limit of. Uh huh. It can be positives and negatives. It can be a mixture, just as long as you have it. Yeah? Right. No. No. If you get infinity or infinity, the answer is not infinity, the answer is not one. We don't know what it is because of it, as he just said, not all infinities are the same. Some of the e to the infinity is bigger than infinity squared. But technically they both have a value of infinity, but of varying magnitudes, okay? So we call those indeterminate forms because we can't nail down exactly what their value is, okay? So, huh? No, I don't think there's, No, you may be able to use it. You may be able to use this for a problem on there. Okay? So let's look at the one that we just we tried, we, we couldn't do from the warm up. The limit as x approaches zero of e to the two x minus one over x. When we plug in zero, we would get zero over zero. So that means by using L'Hopital's rule. Um, now, when I was taught this in calculus, we put like a little L over the equal sign to indicate that we did L'Hopital's rule. What's the derivative of the numerator? 2e to the 2x. What's the derivative of the denominator? 1. Now, can we plug in 0? Yeah. We can plug in 0 and we won't have any issues because now the denominator is 1. So that's 2 times e to the 0, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. So we just evaluate that limit without our calculator. Yes. 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 The derivative of an exponential is itself times the derivative of the exponent. Okay? Let's look at one involving trig. The limit as x approaches infinity of sine of 5x over 2x. Okay? So when we plug in 0, you still have to plug it in because you don't know. Uh, I mean, obviously, the point of these is, is so that we apply L'Hopital's rule, but we still need to plug it in. The sine of 0 is 0, and then we've got 2 times 0 on the bottom. So it is 0 over 0. So the derivative of sine of 5x is... 5 cosine of 5x and the derivative of 2x is 2 so now we can plug in 0. 5 times the cosine of 5 times 0 over 2. Cosine of 0 is 1 so this is 5 over 2. As long as you get 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, yes. Okay. Let's look at a natural log. This one is approaching infinity. So the natural log of infinity is infinity. It takes a long time to get there, but the natural log is approaching infinity. Um, and then we've got infinity on the bottom. So that means candidate for L'Hopital's rule. What's the derivative of the natural log of x? 1 over x. What's the derivative of? Uh, oh, I left out my limit notation. Bad, bad, bad. Limit. We haven't evaluated the limit yet. 
Um, they're not going to ask you to do this on a career cost question, so you really don't have to worry about it. But the reason why I try to emphasize it so much is because sometimes when you get caught up in the problem, you forget where you're at. And so as long as you're keeping your notation, it helps you keep track of, of uh, what you're doing. Okay? Now we can plug in infinity and we're fine. 1 over infinity is no longer an indeterminate form. What is 1 over infinity? 0. Okay, so let's look at this last example. The limit, I forgot my limit notation right here. Okay, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of x squared over e to the negative x. So if we plug in negative infinity, we've got positive infinity squared on the top e to the infinity, it's still an infinity, right? So we need to apply L'Hopital's rule. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. <clears throat> what happens when we plug in infinity here? We still have the problem. The thing with L'Hopital's rule, you can apply it as many times as you need to. Okay, so we can do it again. Well, um, I mean, if you looked at if you looked at the graph, if you graphed that function x squared over e to the negative x, you would just be looking at the y values to see what they're doing as you go to the left. Um, there's not really a way to, um, I'm not going to lie, I really don't know why this rule works the way that it works. They're really, really, really smart. Is that the only, I mean, Um, so when we plug in negative infinity here, let's finish this problem. We get 2 over e to the infinity. What's that going to be? 0. Okay, that's going to be 0. Um, now, before we had this rule, technically I just talked about how to figure this one out. Because um, we compared, like, it's the top bigger than the bottom. E to, the net, e to the x grows faster than x squared. So the bottom is a lot bigger. So when we're involving infinities, then um, that's going to, we're going to be divided by a much bigger number. So it's going to be zero. So some of these I had taught you how to deal with before. Um, same thing with um, C. Natural log versus x. Natural log is very, very slow growing. x is going to be greater than that, so you're dividing by a bigger number because you're on the bottom. Um, but the good thing is, with L'Hopital's rule, you really only have to remember your derivative rules. You don't have to remember the whole comparing which one's bigger, which one's smaller, um, that sort of thing. Um, and like with B, you couldn't really, you can't compare those. The sign is is bouncing back and forth. Um, so well, and we're approaching zero, so we can kind of balance that out. Local talk will solve all those problems. Okay? So.